Hello everyone, I Arvind Kumar Mishra, Faculty of Physics, Department of School of Science, Uttar Pradesh Rashi Tandon Open University, Prayagraj. Dear student, today in this session I am going to start UG Physics SPS PHS 02 of Modern Physics paper. In this paper, I will discuss the topic of elementary particles. This is the module first of elementary particle. In this module, I will discuss elementary particles, some terminology of elementary particles, what is annihilation, classification of elementary particle, of a spin basis, and some other definitions. Let us start. The program BSc Physics, UG, PHS, course, paper, SBS, PHS 02, Modern Physics, Elementary Particle, Module 01. Introduction. The branch of physics that deals with the property, interaction and the structure of elementary particle is known as particle physics. You know very well about interaction, there are four types of interaction in the universe. Second, elementary particles are the fundamental constituent of all the matter in the universe. These microscopic scale particles play an important role in the universe, so elementary particles are the building block of the universe. In fact, Everything that physically exists in the universe is comprised of these tiny particles, your body, your organs, even your brain also. All matter is composed of particle. Now, what is elementary particles? Elementary particles discovered so far from long list of around 200. These particles are elementary in the sense that they are structureless, that is, they cannot be explained as a system of other elementary particles. It means it should be infinitely hard and structureless. It should be unbreakable. Properties of elementary particle. A. Mass. An elementary particle has always the same rest mass. The magnitude of the rest mass serves as the principal level to identify the particle uniquely. B. Charge. All elementary particles have charge, positive, negative or zero. This charge are conserved in any collision process. You know very well about that, charge is expressed as a, an unit of E. Charge should be conserved either in any process or decay. C. Lifetime. All elementary particles except photon, electron, proton and neutrinos are unstable and decay into other elementary particles of smaller mass. It means photon, electron, proton, neutrino are stable. Usually, heavy mass of elementary particle decay into small mass. This is usual procedure. Now, D, that is spin. The particle of half integral, that is, spins, etc., obeying Fermi-Dirac statistics. Fermi-Dirac is a famous physicist, are called fermions, and the particle of spins are electrons, positrons, protons, neutrons, neutrinos, antineutrinos, mesons, and many hyperons. Particles having zero or integral spins, that is 0, 1, 2, etc., are bosons because they obey Bose-Einstein statistics. A spin of the particles can be categorized into half integral and integral, as I told in section D, that is spin. Now, next is antiparticles. Every particle has an antiparticles. The antiparticle of a particle has the same mass, spin, and lifetime if unstable, but its charge, if any, has the opposite sign. The first antiparticle known was positron. You know very well about that electron, its symbol is E, and its antiparticle is positron, its symbol is E plus, which was discovered by the famous physicist by Anderson in 1932. It is a positively charged electron, that is it has same mass and the spin as an electron, but opposite charge. This is a table first. It shows that is a symbol, here is a particle, second column is a symbol and its antiparticle and other is a symbol. This is a particle electron. particle, electron, its symbol is E minus, its antiparticle, positron, its symbol is E plus. The particle is proton, its symbol is P, small p, 
its antiparticle is antiproton, its symbol is P above the bar. And the particle is neutron, its symbol is a small n, its antiparticle is antineutron, its symbol is n above the bar. And the particle is neutrino, its symbol is nu, its antiparticle is antineutrino, its symbol is nu above the bar. Now, annihilation. Positron E plus is the antiparticle of electron. E minus, it has identical mass and spin, but has a positive charge. If an electron encounter a positron, they annihilate with the transformation of their mass energy into two gamma rays. This is a famous reaction known as annihilation reaction or process. If an electron collide with positron, they will annihilate and it will lead to two gamma rays. When electron collide with positron, it becomes to be two gamma rays. This is the annihilation process. This is a very famous process. Next is neutrino and antineutrino. Neutrino are left-handed particles, antineutrino are right-handed particles. These are the properties of neutrino and antineutrino. They are extremely tiny, have very small mass. They do not interact via strong force. You know very well about there are four fundamental forces in the nature, but they interact only three forces. They don't interact via strong forces. They are electrically neutral. It means it has zero charge. Now, this is a classification of elementary particle on the basis of a spin. I will discuss later when I discuss about the bosons and fermions. Now, what are the fermions? It obeying FDA's Fermi Dirac statistics. Fermions have odd half integer spin. Example, 1 by 2, 3 by 2, 5 by 2, etc. Fermions, fermions obey Pauli exclusive principle, which exerts that two identical fermions can never occupy the same vicinity. The particles that build the matter in our world are fermion. Example, neutron, proton, electron. Bosons. Obeying B statistics, B Bose Einstein statistics. Bosons have integer spin, example 0, 1, 2, etc. Bosons do not obey Pauli exclusion principles. Any number of bosons may be concentrated in a given region in a space. The particles carrying the basic forces are all boson, example photon, glion, weak bosons, and graviton. Leptons. This category consists of fermions of spin half, which have a mass lesser than that of the nucleons. These particles are subject to electromagnetic and weak Fermi interactions only. Member of these groups are electron, muons, tau, and their antiparticles, neutrino and antineutrino. I already discussed about antiparticles, neutrino and antineutrino. This is a chart of lepton's family. This is a this is a lepton. And lepton can be divided into three categories. Electron, this is a symbol of electron. This is a muon, this is a symbol of muon. This is a tau, this is a symbol of tau. Now, this is an electron. Its antiparticle is E, I already discussed. This is muon, muon, this is antiparticle. This is a tau, this is its, its antiparticle. Now, this is, this is neutrino, its antineutrino. This is neutrino, its antineutrino of muon, neutrino of tau, it's antineutrino of tau. So this is a whole lepton's family. This is a very important chart of lepton's family. You have to be crammed gradually, and you can understand very easily. Now, this is a baryons. These are fermions of half integral spin and, and have masses equal to or in excess of nucleon's mass. They are subjects to all the three types of interaction, that is strong, weak, and electromagnetic. Baryons can be classified into two categories that is nucleons and hyperons. Massless boson, this group consists of integral spin boson, that is with the spin 1, 2, etc, rest mass equal to 0. This group contains a sole member, the photon, and the other member, the graviton. Meson, this group consists of boson of spin 0 and having masses intermediate between the lepton and the nucleons and are subjects to all the three types of interaction, that is strong, weak, and electromagnetic. 
now comes to the chart now this is a classification of elementary particle on the basis of a spin i have already discussed about all the particles now first elementary particle on the basis of a spin elementary particle can be classified on the basis of spin it can be divided into two categories bosons and fermions now first bosons can be further divided into two categories massless boson and mesons massless boson can be further divided into two categories photon and graviton mesons can be divided into three categories eta mesons pi mesons and k mesons eta mesons zero charge pi mesons can be further divided into three part that is a pi plus pi not pi minus k meson can be divided into pi plus pi not and these two are the anti particle of k plus and k minus this is a bosons family now comes to the other part of the elementary particle of the fermions family now this is the fermions fermions can be divided into two categories leptons family and baryon family i already discuss about the lepton family this is the electron this is the muon this is a tau this is a antiparticle of electron this is a positron this is a muon antiparticle of muon this is a tau antiparticle of tau this is a neutrino of electron this is the antiparticle of neutrino now comes to the baryon baryons can be further divided into two part this is the nucleons and hyperons nucleons combined called neutron and proton this is a proton this is the antiparticle of proton this is a antiparticle of nucleus this is the hyperons can be classified into four part this is the lambda hyperon sigma hyperons cascade hyperons and omega hyperon this is a lambda hyperon and sigma hyperons can be classified into three categories this is a sigma plus sigma not and sigma minus and cascade hyperons can be classified into two categories this is a cascade zero and cascade minus and omega hyperon can be classified only one category this is sigma minus this is a whole chart of the elementary particles on the basis of spin you can gradually understand and you can gradually cram uh, this chart and uh, i think this is a whole uh, chart of the elementary particle and uh, i can discuss and in, in the, the last these are the some module questions on the basis of this module question uh, based on module 1 bosons are option a only meson only baryon mesons photon graviton only nucleons so go on the chart bosons are bosons are what mesons mesons photon and graviton the answer is c question 2 positrons are I already told about that positron or what is positron? Electron, antiparticle of electron is called positron. And this is a, is, a, is a family of lepton. This is a family of lepton. Lepton family belongs to positron. This is a positron. Okay? So this is the answer of your second. This is a family of lepton. The, the answer of question number second is A, lepton A. Spin of fermions are, I already told about that, fermions spins are half integral. The answer is C, 1 by 2. What properties did physicists use to classify the particles? Mass, charge, spin, lifetime. B, mass, size, color, charge. C, charge, shape, spin, density. D, lifetime, charge, color, density. I already told in my slide These are the properties. These are the properties of elementary particle, mass, charge, lifetime, and spin. So the answer is, so the answer is mass, charge, spin, and lifetime. Answer is A. Question 5. Positron was discovered by Einstein, Bohr, Anderson, Maxwell. The answer is C, Anderson. I already mentioned in my slide in antiparticle the first antiparticle known was positron which was discovered by Anderson so the answer is Anderson so 
So the answer is Anderson. This is all about the classification of elementary particle which I discussed today. If you have any doubt regarding uh, this lecture, this is module first, uh, please come to the department and in the next lecture I will discuss module second on the basis of mass and interaction. Thank you so much for listening and for your attention.